Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got an interesting knife for you today. This is the Spyroco Royal and this knife is so interesting in fact it comes with its own book talking about its evolution, philosophy, and history. Now since it comes with this great book I'm not going to get really in depth to the evolution and history of this knife. I am going to talk about a little bit about its philosophy and what I see when I see this knife and the reason why I got it. Now to start off this review I want to get the stats out of the way because that's the boring part. So let's get get started. The overall length is 10 and 5 8 inches or 269 millimeters. The blade length is 5 11 16 inches or 144 millimeters. And the um, blade weight it, or yeah the blade weight is 8.2 ounces or uh, 242 grams. Now like I said this is a pretty interesting knife. The Royal knife concept has been around since the 90's and uh, it's a single purpose design knife. It's a combat blade. It's made for both defending life and taking life. And um, you'll see this in the design. Uh, it has an upswept blade for slashing, a concave serrated blade for cutting, trapping, and um, well, trapping, hooking, and cutting, and it has an extended tang for to be used as a skull crusher. Now, uh, when I saw this knife, I saw a different knife. Although this is a single purpose knife designed for taking other people's lives and um, hopefully to defend innocent people um, to be used by military or law enforcement. I saw a completely different creature. I saw upswept blade for slicing. I saw uh, for slicing stuff like, let's just say for example, fish. I saw a concave um, serrated blade, much like a um, serrated hawkbill for cut, cutting rope or monofilament. And I saw um, a H1 constructed blade with H1 um, um, gold screws and blade which for those of you who don't know H1 steel does not rust it's an austenistic steel so it's a wall called in steel so that means the more you sharpen it the harder the edge is going to get so it's kind of like a katana in the fact that it has a really hard edge but the rest of it's real soft so where it's ground it's going to be harder than the places that it's not ground but um, I saw an H1 knife with a good upswept slicing blade for doing stuff like cutting up fish for bait or processing. And I saw a um, concave serrated back for cutting monofilament and stuff. And as soon as I saw this, I thought to myself, dive knife. So um, that's what I wanted to use this knife for. One major problem though, it comes with a crappy sheath. Now, before I get started on the sheath, I want to say the sheath probably works pretty good on land. It's Molly compatible and a made in the USA Spec Op sheath, but I just did not like it. It comes with a thermoplastic um, linel, which does not retain the blade at all. You have to use the snaps if you want to retain the blade. It comes with this Velcro pouch where you can put a knife sharpener or a magazine pouch or whatever you want in it. And I wish there was a um, um, Velcro snap combo, but again, um, I'm using this underwater, the Velcro, it could easily get clogged up. And then it came with this big leg lanyard which I used. I tied this around my leg, but when you're in water swimming, everything's suspended. This thing's constantly um, floating around, migrating. This is constantly floating around, trailing behind me. It just did not stay put, so I tossed it. Even my um, dive instructor said that sheath, you know, is going to cause problems for you when diving. So, um, and it did. It did not stay put and I could not rely on it to be where I wanted it to be in case of an emergency. So I went on Spyderco forums telling them I got my new knife and stuff and they directed me to this guy named Mike. Now I lost his business card and I wish I could show you his business card but he makes custom sheaths for different knives and he makes one for the Spyderco Royal and this is 
his creation right here. And I asked for a high-vis cuddle, so he, this is what he had at the moment, and I told him it was just fine. And um, it comes with a G-clip. It clips right onto my BCD. It stays there. It's, where when, it's there when I need it. And it's ready to be used. Now, um, I love this sheath. I think it cost me around $85 to $89. And the knife itself on KnifeWorks.com cost um, $239.95 on KnifeWorks.com. So it's a pretty pricey knife, all things considering. But um, I loved it. I used it as my dive knife. It wasn't in the way. It stayed put. And um, I liked it. Now, uh, something else I used this knife for was when I was fishing. I used it to cut up fish for bait when I was fishing in the Gulf. And like I said, uh, this concave serrated edge would be good for cutting monofilament if you're tangled while scuba diving. It's also good for cutting monofilament if you're on land. I use this to cut uh, fish, monofilament, and it was just... Um, I really enjoyed using it for that use. I used it as kind of my illegal EDC. Um, if a police officer was to ask me what I was doing with a knife like that, I'm just going to say, hey, it's my dive knife and I'm using it fishing. And hopefully they'll have more C on me. But I didn't have any issues. You actually saw this knife in a couple videos. One in my scuba certification video where I'm posed with it underwater. And you also saw this knife with me in my Fishing in the Gulf video where I caught a red and a, um, um, it just left me, a flounder. I caught a red and a flounder. But, um, yeah, I, a lot of people, most people, the people who designed this knife designed it to be a single purpose killing tool. I saw a dive utility knife to be used in a very benign uh, circumstances such as well I don't want to say benign if you're tangled up underwater that's pretty scary but you know I saw uh, uses for it outside of the combative realm and uh, I wanted to share that with you uh, yes to a lot of people this is a scary knife that can cause a lot of damage but it's an also a very useful knife, a useful knife if you do stuff like scuba diving fishing boating it's a good knife to have around, and I really enjoyed it, and I still enjoy it. Uh, my name is Asatsu5. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're interested in the history of this knife, when you buy this knife, it, it comes with this book. I think you can also buy this book separately, and it talks about the history, evolution, and philosophy behind this knife. It was designed to be used, uh, or was designed... Uh, to complement the martial art hiring dough to um, be used in reverse grip for trapping, cutting, sli slashing. has a nice tip for stabbing. But um, yeah, this is a good book to read. Written by Michael Janich. He did a good job with this book. And um, before I start rambling, I'm going to go ahead and end this review. I'm Asatsu5. Hope I hope y'all had a, a great day. And I'm out.